been working on this particular farm here in St. Croix? Well, I've been working here for about six years, but I came to St. Croix about 10 years ago. I used to live up on the North Coast before I started farming up near a place called Rustop Twist. And so you're the director here, which means you're in charge of this whole... That's right. This whole crazy scene. Yeah. I oversee food production, our farm tourism that we have here, and our educational programs. Nice. But what I really love is going out in the field myself. <gasps> it's happening. Go. Always swing away from yourself. Okay. And from me. <laughs> Watch my swing. All right. First step is we're gonna take the the banana bunch down. Five. Yeah, there it there is. We go. There it is. Okay, hold this for okay. a second. Okay. Hey, now. <laughs> That's heavy. We need to go harvest some moringa okay. because we gotta give, it's a protein supplement feed that we give to the sheep. So this is moringa. If you need to use a machete, that's fine. But... Oh, let me use my brute strength. Let's see what I can do. Oh, all right. And when you bring this to the sheep, they know how good it is. Oh, wow. Here we are. <laughs> I've heard about you guys. All right, now remember, they'll move wherever we need them to, as long as we're using our moringa that we harvested. And so we'll give them a taste. Okay. Now the tricky part okay. is, oh, gosh. <laughs> is the goats. So yeah, we want to let all the sheep out and get them over there, but leave the goats inside. All right, now give them the, give them the bait. Sheep. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Now you're a cruising farmer. So part of what we're doing is, you know, connecting what we're doing over here with over here. So that the systems of the organic farm are all interwoven. You see, they're eating the mangoes. There's mangoes that have fallen down that otherwise would be attracting fruit flies. And fruit flies, they can actually get into a mango tree and kind of infect the tree year after year. Okay. And so you get worms in your mangoes. Oh, so they take care of the extra. Right. So when you have this kind of system, they come in and they're, they're cleaning out. Oh, look, they're yeah. loving it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll have these orange mouths for a couple of days. <laughs> it's so cute. I feel them. The mangoes here are delicious. They're really good. Let's get a mango. This is a really tasty mango tree right here. Oh, wow. That one looks good. Oh, yeah. You can do it with one. <laughs> here they come. Oh, perfect. This would be good. Yeah? That's fun. Climbed a tree today. Herded some sheep. Picked my own mango. Pippin likes them. Here, mm -hmm. Pippin. I'll share with you. There you go. Wow, this is amazingly good. So, big day on the farm. Uh-huh. Um, I would love to see, what is it? Rust Stop Twist? Yeah, Rust Stop Twist. Um, is it closed? Can we... <laughs> <laughs> And that is the donkey sneaking the in my face. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful, Nate. Rest up twist, here we are. So this is your favorite spot? This is it. Used to live right down there. Oh my goodness. Not bad. Not bad. This is a sugar mill I used to crush cane here. Wow. And so you used to live down the hill and you just come up here and... Chill out. Chill out. And, you know, there, I, I remember a few nights coming out for full moons around midnight. Mm. Right when it was... Right there. Over the, oh, over the that's so cool. So you're living down here full time. You're officially a Crusian now. You're married to a, <laughs> an island lady. What about relating to all the people? I mean, did you find it a hospitable place? You know, were you welcomed by the islanders or was well, it you had to prove yourself? Yeah, you or? know, St. Croix is a, really, is a really special island for that because like a lot of destinations cater to what people want to see. But this island is what it just is. So it's really itself. And when you when you come as a visitor and you say, hey, I'm gonna be, you know, I want to help out, and you know, they're like, yeah, we've heard that before. It's not them to, to blame for that attitude, but I've just seen every year I meet, you know, new people building up a little shield around their house, and 
living not, how they were at home, you know, and trying to make it not like that, but with the beach, and, yeah, you know not, what I'm saying? And, yeah. And yeah, not integrating into the community. And this would be my advice to, to expats who want to come. is like, don't live on a place. Live in a place. That is awesome yeah. advice in general, but yeah. for sure. And so that's what St. Croix wants. It wants people who want to live in St. Croix, not on St. Croix. Well, gosh, this is paradise. I mean, so you're, right. you're, you're really living the dream, I would imagine, the expat dream. To me, the, the biggest thing is that paradise, I, I believe, is like what, it, what you make of it. And it can be wherever you are. You wherever know. you go, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, that's, yeah. that's good. I'm Pretty taking simple, that one. Right? Yeah, you can borrow it. Gently feel under them and just see if there's an egg under there. Oh, she doesn't look like she likes me very much. You know, who knows where we'll end up. We, we both agreed that we'll go where fate takes us. This is it, man. This is the life. I'm Mario Batali. This fucking guy, Eric Repair, invites me over to his house and makes me do the cooking. Join us on the Reserve Channel on YouTube. How's your good? <laughs> Food, you're going to burn. I'm not going to burn. We're standing right here. There's two of us Hi. making one dish. Fame. How many yeah. times do you go to the White House? I've been there four or five times. Fortune. Even at a top dollar, you make much more money in a trattoria than you do in a fancy restaurant. My guest, Mario Batali. The man, the brand, and of course the chef. It's all on the table. I love parking in New York City. Ah, the you're king gonna... of chefs, the chef of kings. What's up, buddy? What did you bring? Over I brought some groceries. I was told we were making lunch together. The dish that we're making is called Two Minute Calamari, Sicilian lifeguard style. By the time the calamari gets into the game, yeah. it'll only take two minutes. Okay. Now, I never met a Sicilian lifeguard, but this is how I imagine he or ah, okay. she might make it. So that's the way you make the tomato sauce? Yeah, you squeeze them because you still want little pieces. You're yeah. cranking it up to 11. You want to go back to 9? No, I like five, 11. Five. I like 11. Hey, listen. I like high heat. I really like the calamari, the way you cooked it at the end. Cheers. The Italian toast is chin chin, and the toast chin -chin. is you can build it as high as you want, Okay. but you build it from our dirt. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 